Previously, we've met the idea of a linear relation. So, for example, we might have a small town where the population is 3,500 at some starting point, and then it increases by 100 people each year. Our independent variable is time, the number of years that have passed, and our dependent variable is p, the population of the town. So at time zero, there are 3,500 people. At time one, there are 3,600 people. At time two, there are 3,700 people, and so on. We get the equation P equals the starting value, 3,500, plus the rate of change times t. The key idea here is that every time t increases by 1, we add the same number to p. So the question that that raises is, what would it look like if instead of adding over and over again, we multiplied over and over again. Let's see an example of what that looks like. So an example of a situation that calls for that is where we have bacteria in a Petri dish. A Petri dish is a little thing that you use in biology experiments to grow bacteria. The number of bacteria in a Petri dish starts at 5 and doubles every hour. So here our variables are the population, our dependent variable, and the time in hours, our independent variable. What does this look like? At the beginning, after no hours, there are five bacteria in the dish. After one hour, it says the population doubles. That means multiply by two, right? So after one hour, the population goes up to 10, because that's 5 times 2. After another hour, the population goes up to 20, because that's 10 times 2, and so on. After the third hour, the population goes up to 40, and let's do one more. After the fourth hour, the population goes up to 80. As you can see, these numbers get big way faster than they did in the linear example. What would this equation look like? We're multiplying by 2 over and over and over again. How do we represent repeated multiplication? That's what exponents are for. So how would we represent this? Well, our population will be our starting population but now, instead of adding to our starting population, we're going to multiply it. Multiply it by what? Well, we're going to multiply it by 2 several times. How many times? A number of times equal to the number of hours that have passed. Notice this t is an exponent. And the 2, then, this is called just the multiplier. It's what we're multiplying by over and over again. The relationship described by this equation and this table is called exponential. Why exponential? Because it's got a variable in the exponent.